What is up guys, it's Matt from School Buses and today we're talking about Battlefield 5 and the closed alpha gameplay. So uh, thank you to the guy who gave it us. I always forget his name when I'm talking about it, but I'll put it in the description. Thank you for giving us the code and letting us play the game. Right, the issues that we came across, basically. We, we want this to improve when the game either comes out in beta or the full release. Right, the main issue was when you die. So when you die on Battlefield One, you can re you could do the skip, and then you can go sell out your guns, go wherever you want, and all that. But no, on Battlefield Five, you have to wait. You basically have to watch the guy that killed you. Then another f like another f six seconds, seven seconds, and just waiting for someone to come get you, which probably no one would. Which uh, when you're like a sniper. It seems very annoying because we like to skip and then like change the uh, layout of the gun, layout of the um, layout of the gun. I mean the setup of the gun, the gadgets and all that. It's a bit more easier to do that, but like yeah, that medic. Well no, not medic. The death scene. It needs to go. There needs to be a skip button like last time. It'd be much easier than just fucking waiting around for calling someone to help. That's nowhere near you. But yeah, pretty much it happened load a load of times. No one came. It got very annoying. And every time we die, you have to basically waste 10 seconds of your life when you could have skipped, done some change to your setup or your gadgets. So yeah, that's issue number one. Uh, we all agreed on that. Me, me, Neil and Andre. I think Lewis would have agreed on it. But he didn't play the game, like, cause I know he likes to change his stuff and his gun layout and his gadgets. Uh, another thing we all agreed on, apart from Lucy, didn't play it, was the planes. Um, we have mixed opinions. Like, I have a mixed opinion towards them two. This is when they run out of ammo. They kept moaning, saying, "Where's the ammo thing?" I, I think it's good that you run out of ammo. However. Here's where the problem is. This is what we all agreed on. The sign in the air. It needs to stand out or more. It's it's full on bull crap, basically. There's no icon on the map. It blends in with the background with the snowy mountains. You can't see it. It's utter crap. They need to put an icon on the map or make it a bit darker or stands out a bit more. It's Fair enough, it's the back of the map, fair enough. But we was flying the plane so we couldn't see it at all because basically it was blending in. We don't know where it, how high it is or how low it was. I saw it one time, and that's when I was at the enemy base, like F, and I was flying back down and I just saw it because uh, of the map. Like I was looking down and I just saw it flew by. But when Neil and Audrey were playing in the bomber, they couldn't find it at all. And it was just blending in with the mountains. It, like, it needs to be darker or stands out a bit more. And there needs to be an icon on the map to tell you where it is. It's it's, it's frustrating because basically they was flying around, flying around, getting shot out and uh, repairing. And we couldn't find the thing at all. Like I said, I found it one time. One time. And we had, I think I had about... And that was gameplay. Andre had about lo loads. He had about six hour gameplay because it was on his PC. I, I did go round. And uh, Neil got about two hours gameplay. And uh, we all agreed on the same thing. The icon. It needs to stand out more. It needs to be blend not blend in. And in I think there needs to be an icon on the map. Alright. So that's about it for main issues. Everything else that we tried, obviously we didn't get like, we got like the last day of it, of the uh, alpha. So uh, from our perspective, it was just them two major things that need to, we we think needs to change. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The bugs and glitches, I hope they fix them. Um, there's a bit of a glitch at the end. Uh, where Neil was on a train, he died next to a train, and it just, his body just glitched out. He couldn't move. 
and he was dying and dying and he couldn't get up and couldn't revive and people kept reviving him because he couldn't skip it that was it people kept reviving him and he couldn't skip it and uh yeah that's pretty much it for that one it's just a little bit of bugs uh the bodies keep flying around typical i think i remember on the bait or uh, bodies kept glitching, where they kept jumping up and down when they're dead, or spazzing out. I don't know if I can say that, but yeah, keep like, uh, what's the word? Jumping, yeah, basically jumping all over the bo dead bodies kept jumping all over. That needs to be sorted out. And that's about it for this video. And uh, that's our main issues. We hoped for our dives to fix it, and the developer uh, developers probably preferably for the closed beta or the open beta i know the open beta always comes out about two three weeks before the game probably a month before the game but we i don't i don't remember the closed beta coming out that late it's always early the closed beta it's always after the alpha so yeah that's our main issues we all agreed on that it's just i had to make this video alone uh thank you for watching uh stay tuned for more battlefield Five gameplay. That sounds weird. That Battlefield Five. I'm just used to saying Battlefield One. And uh, see, see you all soon. Adios.